In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. I have created multiple slide with the dark and the light theme. So this is the dark theme. So when I click, you can see here the four option comes. I have added some different background images here. You can put the option number one, two, three and four. And you can add the title and the detailed text along with the icon here. I have created few more slides where this is completely with a light color theme you can see here the same information but only the the background is white and I have created one more slide where it is totally black so depending on your requirement you can choose which slide you need and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do this however you can use older version also uh, if you don't have the latest version so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and if you want to change the color of the background you can use any dark color or if you want you can keep it white also so go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangles just click it here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to rotate it using the alt and the right arrow key one two and three times i'm just going to click and i'm going to increase the height and width to 1.65 and this also 1.65 all right so we end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d i'm just going to put it here one press ctrl d just add it here and then again this one i'm going to copy both the one press ctrl d you can see here and i'm just going to paste it something like this and later on if it is not matching also we can just increase or decrease the size or we can adjust it properly so now you can see here i have added this many uh, rectangles six rectangles one two three four five six seven rectangles rather and then i'm going to select the top rectangles and align and go say align top and this one i'm going to align it bottom all right and then i'm going to select all these rectangle by holding the shift key and go to align and distribute horizontally all right so this will give equal spaces between this now once this is over what you can do is for this particular uh, four uh, rectangles one two three and four you can insert a different image here so how to do that one select this one right mouse click go to format shape under fill select picture or texture fill and click on insert if you have the images saved in your local PC you can choose these options or if you are using internet and you, are, you can just choose this online pictures and any online pictures you can see here you can select and download it so let me just select some pictures here maybe I'm going to select the beach and I'm going to choose maybe this one click on insert you can see here the beach has inserted but the photo is upside down some kind of thing so what you need to do is you have to just remove this tick mark rotate with shape just remove it so it becomes again the right size then i'm going to select this one again picture or texture fill click on insert online pictures and i'm going to choose some different uh, background maybe right for the time being i'm just choosing this one again for this also what you need to do is you need to click on rotate it all right something went wrong i believe let me just select the online pictures again maybe i have not selected the right things and click on insert so it's some problem with the image i believe i don't know what is the problem so let me just select once again or you can just choose any uh, pictures from your okay i think there's some problem with the internet i don't know what's the problem but what you can do instead of doing that one you can just go to insert select from a file so i'm going to just copy 
uh, four different pictures uh, onto these objects. So here I have added four random images from my PC and then I can just give some different colors for this one. You can just choose any color of your choice. You can see I'm just selecting this color for this. Maybe I'm going to choose maybe this color and for this I can choose some other color like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this press Ctrl D to duplicate. Hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit and again give some different color combination and put it here exactly and then send this to back go to format send to back so you can see here and if you want you can just bring it somewhat down also not a problem with that all right again press ctrl d i'm going to add it at the bottom here ctrl d this will go here and one more will go here all right then I'm going to select all these three, send this to back. All right, then you can just align it properly. Maybe whichever way the alignment we need to do it, we can just do it. All right, so you can see here. So these are the four different colors. I can just choose it. Maybe this one I need to go make it further down. Yeah, and then I'm just going to give some different color. Maybe for this, I'm going to give a uh, color combination of say kind of this color and for this I can give some other color combination maybe a light blue and here I'm going to give some different color which is maybe kind of a pink all right so I've got different color combination here and then I'm going to add few more uh, rectangles, small rectangles, the same squares rather. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and hold the shift key, reduce the size, something like this. And then I'm just going to exactly put it here. You can see here again, I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D, hold the shift key, reduce the size. You can see here and I'm going to place it here. All right. Just make sure that the size is same is 0.57 this also have to make it 0.57 all right and then just align it properly and then let me just go move to this side and again select this one this also i'm going to make it 0.57 the height and width all right and then just put it here this is the place where you're going to add the option number and then this one again press ctrl d i'm going to make it 0.57 the height and width and then i'm just going to put it here all right so we end up getting a shape something like this so here i'm going to add the option number go to insert text box and i'm going to just type 01 center align maybe you can choose some good font helvetica make it bold if you want and put it here this is one press ctrl d this is for the second this is for the third and this is for the fourth you can see here so let me just change the numbers to two three and four all right and then you can just add some detailed text also the title also press ctrl d here and i'm going to add your or, or title here all right and put it exactly here and i'm going to give some gray color and hold the ctrl shift key together add one more here and this two i'm going to select this one control shift and move it up and then this one move it this one here and this also i'm going to place it here you can see here something like this and then in this section you can add some detailed text go to insert text box and add your detailed text here again you can make it if you want white font reduce the size all right and then just put it here press ctrl d add one more here ctrl d add here and if you're using some latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert 
icons and you can just choose some random icons also here so let me just choose these three icons and I'm going to reduce the size to 0.6 the height and width and each one I'm just going to copy it here alright so with this we have completed the design and if you would like to add some shadow effect or add some uh, small animation effect you can add it here or if you want to change the background color you can just simply go here and change the background color of your choice so whichever way you feel better you can just add it